Hi, my loves. Jeray Millet, a girl from around the way, where we have culture, conversation, and community. And I am coming to you all on this rainy Tuesday, depending on where you're at, to kind of get into the things um, surrounding Carlisha Hood and her son. So, y'all, I kind of backed up from anything that I see like you know black people engaging in harmful um, behaviors with each other whether it's the police and black people I kind of just came from my own mental health reasons so this situation has been happening it's not until I found out that the sun was released and the charges were dropped that I kind of said hmm what is this about <clears throat> so everybody is talking and everybody is circulating on social media even a couple people at the job was talking about it i'm like what is going on so Nicki minaj recently posted something saying that she would like to pay for this young man's college and she posted this on instagram saying that the 14 year old boy that backed that backed that hammer out when that grown man was punching his mother in the face as if she were a man is a true hero if he wants to go to college, I love to help. It's what any son should have done for their mother. She raised a dope kid. It's also, God knew before she knew that she'd be attacked that day and made sure that he had the protection on that. God is so good. So, <clears throat> Carlisha was attacked by this 32-year-old man in the Chinese store. Girl, she trying to get her salt, pepper, ketchup, and hot sauce, chicken wings. And I don't know what happened. I briefly saw the clip. And prior to me watching the clip, there is so much conversation about how this woman should have backed down. She should have cowered. She should have, um, um, you know, walked away from the situation, use her discernment and know that men are unhinged, which they are. Um, and I was talking about this to my coworker today that um, y'all know I love us for real. But I'm starting to come to the realization that a lot of trauma surrounding black women are at the hands of black men. Now, of course, we know that there are oppressive systems that create this bubble of trauma and everything like this. Of course, now we can't take away from the people who have created these systems and people, unfortunately, succumb to these type of things, which we see this whole thing. Right. So I saw the video and the way that this man was balling his fist up. Now, Carlisha, she was popping it. You know, I couldn't really hear the audio. If y'all know differently, drop down in the comments and let me know. But I didn't see this woman pointing fingers and I'll get my son to F you up. And I'll die, die. I didn't really see that. I saw a woman standing on what, um, you know, standing her ground, so to speak. I don't know how old Carlisha is. I know this, the, the young man was, you know, 32 years old. And I'm imagining her feeling like, you know, maybe they were the same age, maybe they weren't. But who are you to get to talk to me like this? And we all know that these black women, you know, I myself have shown up in spaces and felt unprotected by the men around me. And, and in fact, sometimes afraid of the same men who are supposed to protect me. And at every instance and at every turn, I'm supposed to um, play it safe and play it cool. I mean, like, sure. You know, some people come from that school of thought. Other people come from a different school of thought. It just really depends on your judgment in that moment. And y'all, we are one bad decision away from our life being different. You know, like for real. I know you know somebody right now who lived a regular life. Boom, got caught up there one day. Boom, made life different. You know what I'm saying? And everybody is passionate. All of this harsh judgment on this woman. Oh, these single moms. She's making her son her emotional husband. And, you know, vilifying this woman. And it's like almost just, you know, no type of attention to the to the man who was balling his fist up, talking to this woman aggressively. I swear to God, I'm going to knock you out threatening this woman. This is before the assault. Nobody is saying anything because it's already, we already are wired and have the expectancy that that is what is due. That's wild. We are so desensitized to these men, these black men being unhinged and out of control that everybody is saying that she was wrong. She was a victim being assaulted. Could she have handled things differently? Sure. Now, did she actually tell the son to come in here with the gun, with the strap? Did she do that? I don't know, y'all. 
and if she did then we need to have a different conversation and maybe i'll make a you know a video to clarify and maybe you know update my opinion but from what i saw he saw his mama getting you know assaulted and even in this instance i see the cameraman the cameraman said nothing he didn't want to intervene because again this is out of control and we don't know how it can go we see an old man the old black man getting out of the way in fact he was a, he seemed afraid he didn't want to get sprayed he didn't want to get hit and we all sat and watched this woman be assaulted by this man in a chinese food store to get that good old chinese store chicken y'all i'm this is so sad for <laughs> a gamut of reasons okay so one everybody who's vil vilifying carly should go to hell because everybody thinks okay yeah well she should have and she should have and she should have but nobody knows how you're going to react everybody say oh if i was getting robbed i would have hit him with the kick hit him with the rob would have hit it you don't know until you're in this instance and who knows like maybe she did she wasn't even really thinking did she call for him did she not if she did again another conversation but i didn't see her say son come here i think that her son responded in that way and even if she did say son come here bring me my gun he probably saw and in his moment and in, in, in seeing his mom his you know primary care provider probably be attacked by this man because again this is a 14 year old child he is a child this kid being attacked by a 32 year old man who just attacked and assaulted his mom and i don't i didn't see the video where i don't know if there is footage of her falling out but the way that the punch seemed we watch now that's tv we know we know that this zeus network we know that that punch was a was a was an mnf -er. okay and it was interesting as he said i swear on my grandma i'ma knock you out imagine imagine this black man swearing on his assume i'm assuming a black grandma that he's going to punch this woman out all all down at the chinese food store then to be arrested and this could have been tragic we've seen black boys get abducted into the prison system with far less you get what i'm saying for for, for things you know whatever but <clears throat> he's incarcerated she's incarcerated and then to be released so we all feel relieved we all feel like you know wow justice was served miss carlisha said i'm suing y'all <laughs> forget what you said forget what you heard meet me down at the bank okay and how i feel about that i have my thoughts i'm going to reserve my thoughts because i don't think it's appropriate to share it on youtube i'm sure other people will i just don't feel right in my own blackness to, you know to, to say how i truly feel about that because with every action <laughs> there is a reaction and we don't you know the fallout of that might be something different um i want to know y'all thoughts about this i think that it's ugly that we are vilifying carlisha she should have protected her son at all costs and let me say this y'all i got kids y'all know i do i got a, a thousand kids i love them all but um if she didn't tell her son to come in here and do that then that was how he responded in trying to protect his mother and i don't know if i'm like are we going to vilify this young boy for that are we going to vilify that like i mean like come on what about that and sorry to this man's family whoever this mom is she had to see she this is the son she raised to be in a chinese food store attacking a woman closed fist hit this stranger while you're ordering chinese food and you swearing on your grandma we have to be protected black women even when we are among our own especially unfortunately when we are among our own i'm curious to know um uh, what y'all all think um was carlisha was she in the right um do you feel like she was making her son her emotional husband or was this young man having a reaction to protect his mother um we see children smaller and younger um do things in abusive situations where the father is abusing the mother or the boyfriend or whatever in the a baby will come out six years old and trying to hit the perpetrator with a pen 
You know, is is it safe to say that the mom is treating the son like an emotional husband? <laughs> you know, I think that we get really, really murky and we, we go into dangerous um, territory where we're so quick to villainize a woman um, trying her best. And clearly she was the victim, even in her clearly being the victim um, of an assault. You all are saying uh, that she she was wrong for calling in her son, if in fact that's what she did. I want to know what y'all think about it. I don't think that she was wrong. Um, I mean, could she have handled things differently? Of course, you think that she wouldn't hear thinking that she was about to um, get engaged with, in, with this crazy man who's off his rocker, who unfortunately got ratatata. Okay. The son said, gratata, ta, 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 ta. What, nigga, what you thought? <laughs> you know, and ugh, the family, I hope they don't come out talking nothing, but we are. <laughs> Because he looked around and found out. Okay? You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. And I think that is interesting for how polarizing this conversation has been. It's a conversation for us, but these are these people's real lives, y'all. And he, that little boy is going to have to live with the fact that he took a body. Okay? For the rest of his life, his mom is going to have to now live with that. That she put herself and her son in that situation she could have just backed off absolutely and it's like one of those moments where the difference between somebody cuts you off and you like you know what okay i'm about to tailgate now you engage in this road rage and you get into a car back out you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna grow i done had a bad time in the grocery store and i snap out on a, on, on somebody's mama and now you know whatever Everybody is not going to be in control of themselves at all points of the day. I feel like maybe she was out of control. He was out of control. He just was able to take it a step further because men typically take it that step further. And especially black men who are unhinged, suffering from these mental health issues, no help, no nothing. And in a Chinese store, in a Chinese food store, hitting off on somebody's mama. I want to know what y'all think, y'all. Please drop down and help me understand how y'all feeling, Okay. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Peace.